Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a new section I'm adding to the course after I published it, like two years later, on Bootstrap 4. At the time when I first created the course, Bootstrap 4 was just a wee little baby release in alpha, and it changed quite a bit until its eventual release just a couple of months ago in 2018. So it was in alpha and then beta for about two and a half years before a stable release ever came out. But now it's out, so we need to talk about it. It's important. There's a lot of changes, and I'm going to talk about the important ones. I'm not going to do the tedious job of going line by line and comparing every single component, but I'm going to highlight the important changes, but also show you some of the new things, some of the cool features we haven't talked about, uh, including things like Flexbox. Bootstrap supports Flexbox now, which we haven't discussed in the course. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to sort of get both of them, what's the expression, two birds with one stone, Flexbox and Bootstrap 4 together in this section, and we'll build some projects. Uh, but first, I just want to show you, if you're curious, the journey uh, that Bootstrap 4 went through. So this is the official Bootstrap repository on GitHub. It's under the organization TWBS, Twitter Bootstrap, which no longer, they're not actually associated with Twitter anymore, but their GitHub account is. Uh, and if you look at releases, click on that, zoom in a bit, you can see that the most recent stable release uh, as of the end of 2018 was July 24, 2018. However, keep going back, and that was 4.1.3. It doesn't say alpha or beta or anything. So let's go find the original 4.0.0, which is here, January 18th of 2018. This was their first stable v4 release. If you're not familiar with the terminology alpha, beta, and stable, in software at least, an alpha release is usually the first release and you're, you're basically telling everyone this is very buggy, potentially, it, things are very liable to change, and it's the very early stages of, of iteration. And then eventually you get to a point, it depends on the team, the project, all sorts of things, uh, where you deem it as beta, which is usually uh, a little more polished. You're not making many breaking changes or as many breaking changes. And then eventually it gets to a point where it's done enough and you're not going to do some massive alterations. You might be tweaking performance things behind the scenes, reorganizing code. At that point, it would be released as a stable release. So alpha and beta come with the expectation of at any point things could change. Your old version might not work. Your code that was written with the old version might not work with the new version. But once you hit a stable release, uh, most people expect that things are going to be stable. You're not going to have to rewrite a bunch of stuff when you release 4.1. Anyway, if we go back, we can see even as recent as beta 3, which was just a few a few months, less, less than a month, a few days before 4.0 came out, the stable release, there were breaking changes. And that means that if you were using the previous version, beta 2, that your code, some of it at least, wouldn't work anymore. Anyway, keep going down. Uh, we can see beta 2, original beta, and then before that, we're in alpha. So alpha 6, alpha 5, keep going back, eventually 4, 3, and they were actually releasing stable versions of 3 at the same time as they were working on 4 alpha. Keep going back, 4.0.0 alpha 2, and then we get to the original alpha, almost there, here we are, August 19th, 2015. So they announced it sometime around then, uh, released the alpha, a 4.0.0 alpha, and that was in 2015 in August. It took all the way until January of 2018 for the first real release that was not liable to, to have breaking changes, to have massive overhauls at any point to be released. It took quite a long time, but it's also understandable when you think about how large a project Bootstrap is, how many constituencies there are, um, and the fact that there's a, there's a lot of needs that need to be balanced. Anyway, so I'll leave it there. I just wanted to give you a little history of how long it took uh, because a lot of people were a little confused about you know what alpha meant and the fact that when I was recording this course, four was announced. It just wasn't out and it wasn't really officially out until two plus years later. But it is out now, so we are going to learn it. That's coming up next.